placement questions and this is a third part which we are launching uh, till now we have seen many questions like um, 15 questions in first part then again 15 questions in second part right now uh, this uh, this session will be completely based on third part so we'll take some 15 questions in this uh, do you know rule for writing super this in a program in last video also we have covered this uh, yes there is a rule super and this can if this question is asked to me how would i have answered actually main focus of this uh, video is for freshers like how to give answer how to show your personality to an interviewer so super and this both are the keywords which represent super represents super class object and this represents current class object like this you should say first and then you should say yeah there is a rule for it both statements should be at the first line of the constructor. If you want to say more, say both cannot be in the same constructor. Because if one, let's say super is at the first line, then this will be in the second line. That is not allowed. Then again, you should say one additional statement. An additional statement may be super call to constructor will put automatically. But this call to constructor will not put automatically in a program. So that's it. A simple question, guys. Okay, next question is What is constructor in Java? Many people know it, but they should be speaking it. Okay, so how, how, how you should be telling to the interviewer? You should say constructor is a special method which is used for initialization of a global variable or otherwise you can say constructor is a special method which is getting called at the time of object creation and then go on uh, explaining it like constructor um, don't stop here many people say when uh, it has been asked what is constructor in java just say initialize initialize only one word will not be you know sufficient to answer this so you should say you should say constructor is getting called at the time of object creation. We can initialize global variables in a constructor. If your interviewer permits you again, then you should start talking. Like method name should be, say, uh, const uh, name of constructor should be same as that of class name. There should not be any return type. If still he gives permission, then keep on talking. Say, uh, there can be a default constructor, there can be an argumented constructor, default constructor will put automatically if you don't put any constructor. So like that there will be a structure. Now this answer which you are hearing here in this interview or in this video, I don't want you to tell everything, but at least say some part of it, exactly same. Okay, so constructor means first definition, don't say only initialize, don't say only initialize. Next question we'll take. Can we call one constructor from another constructor? Think about it. Yes, that is possible. Very simple. Yes, that is possible. But my intention in this interview, again, and if I'm telling, don't stop with the saying yes. That's a big problem freshers are facing these days. So here you should say, yes, we can call by creating object of that constructor, um, by creating an object and while using that constructor, which is argumented. Or you can say by calling a super also, you can do that. By calling this also, you can do this. Like that you should say. So it's very simple, game, but try explaining it properly. Next question would be, what will happen if we make constructor private? So here some people, some pressures get confused and think like, no, it's not possible. It is possible. Okay. If you make constructor private, you should say, if constructor is private, then you cannot create an object of a class. Then he will say, what is the use of then making constructor? Uh, private because there is no use uh, no, nobody is gonna create an object 
you should say in that case you should say in that case if there is a static method in a class if there is a static method in a class then you can call without creating an object because static methods can be called with the class name directly so like that you should tackle like constructor private okay uh, can we have multiple constructor which are private yes like that answer can we have uh, one public constructor and another private constructor yes we can have no problem the next question is from again constructor what are the ways to call a constructor super this creation of object these are the ways to call a constructor there is another way if you remember then only if you remember then only do not try to give answer unless you remember it simply just for the sake of giving answer class dot for name then you write here class name this is an additional knowledge guys if you are writing this now that means you are showing some extra knowledge to your interviewer java by kiran dot a this is fully qualified class name i would encourage you to know these complex things uh, do not go with only simple answers because you should be um, visible as a unique person in the crowd this is what class dot for name dot new instance but no need to tell if you are getting confused only say super this and by creating an object that's it there are uh, any uh, may, many other ways also by using reflection and all but you don't need to tell that next question i would be taking this how many constructors we can have in a program if more than one allowed what care we need to take we can have n number of constructors in a class that's a no restriction but if we are writing constructor access specifiers can be anything care we need to take that they should have different arguments they should have different arguments then <clears throat> define polymorphism so these are the oops concept guys there will be no excuse if you will be not able to tell interviewer answer of this okay so prepare very well for this so how you how i will be answering if uh, somebody is asking me question of polymorphism polymorphism means different behavior at different time by same entity is called as polymorphism don't stop here go ahead again then you should say polymorphism can be achieved in two ways method overloading method overriding if interviewer again keep quiet and he is uh, expecting something from you then go ahead with the telling method overloading means changing a argument changing a parameters from a method with the same name method overriding means writing same method in super class and sub class and changing a behavior okay so like that you should be explaining uh, here you get big chance if like this um, questions is been asked you get chance to show your knowledge and i'm always telling show off do show off like richness people shows you should show your knowledge and impress your interviewer give real time example of polymorphism there are many so i would suggest you to have some unique example don't always tell like mobile switch on button and switch off button is same in mobile so everything happens with the same button that means it's a polymorphism i agree correct but this example everybody is giving so try getting some new examples for that some people even telling him in interview my mummy is like a polymorphism she does various tasks one person but doing various different different tasks yes that is also an example so find out such example so that it will be unique rather using my examples for it okay so uh, that is a task you need to do then we have next question here what is method overloading explain in detail so how to start this you should say 
start in this way method overloading means same methods with different arguments same method names with the different argument that is called as method overloading there are rules like method name must be same parameters must be different return type can be anything access specifier can be anything that's it so this is what the answer for method overloading you can also say like if you you get a chance to speak then method overloading is one of the part of polymorphism one of the part of polymorphism so like that you can tell even you can say method overloading is used for increasing the features in a method what does feature means that's the argument now method overriding so here don't start telling all the rules first tell like why to use method overriding you should say method overriding will be using in case if we want to change feature of any method or functionality of any method then we use overriding that is what the overriding is then you start telling rules like method name is same arguments are same there must be super class and sub class access specifier of um, subclass method must be bigger or same than the superclass method that's it there are many more rules but don't remember every rule it's not needed do whatever but it should be very perfect guys very perfect don't just uh, read everything just because you know english okay so there is difference between english and technical english and java okay so what you remember only you remember don't remember uh, things which you really cannot remember that is my advice guys now tell me something about this at override annotation so you should say like this annotation is used for overriding like that you can start your uh, this thing answer then you should say if we write override that means uh, user friendliness in our code will be increased no business logic will be changed if we use this annotation or doesn't use at override just for readability to read your code properly at override annotation is introduced if you want to show show off your knowledge now at override annotation introduced in jdk 1.5 like that you can say but it's not needed be short but sweet can we override static method answer is no so now see again don't stop with the no you should say you should say no but go ahead no because say something like because static means class level methods static means class level methods like that you should say so it won't change as per the objects it won't change as per the objects we have seen guys many question just to revise then can we override constructors answer is no because well, these are not methods if you go for overriding and constructor see if you say no that's okay but if you want to explain it so I, again one more thing guys i am always saying that go on explaining go on explain doesn't mean that every time you should be ex, uh, explaining but most of the time you try to explain things like here can we override constructor answer is no that's okay but if you want to explain you can tell if you go for overriding constructor then it will be treated as a method in subclass because constructor is for only superclass but if you go for overriding in subclass then it becomes an ordinary method it will give an error that uh, it doesn't have uh, return type like that one more question we have in this video this is second last question i'm covering always uh, you know uh, 15 questions in one video <clears throat> can we override final method no we cannot final is used for uh, making things constant cannot be changed here it's okay if you say no that's okay no explanation needed in this case this last question guys last question and i hope you are taking advantage of it
can constructor be overloaded answer is yes we can have yes we can have we can have n number of constructors default constructor and augmented constructors as well yeah so hope uh, guys uh, you understood what i was explaining here and hopefully it will be helpful for you and your friends so share this video with your friends if it is needed and this is only for freshers actually i am not saying that uh, experienced people will also follow the same technique but fresher and here in this video i tried actually to solve a problem of many freshers those who don't speak so i am giving them freeze uh, some fixed answer this is the answer you should say just by heart it and this is just my effort to make uh, videos so that because you know when people read some pdfs it they find difficult to understand it or difficult to remember that's why i just tried to make it visual and this verbally i am telling everything so thank you uh, hopefully you will be preparing uh, good all the best thank you